is uh, what the red is uh, in the dresses for Valentino. Yeah. I think it's a fantastic comparison. I, I, <laughs> thanks to you, it, it came to also to you my head. You know the red Valentino. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> exactly. exactly. Yes. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are here in uh, Milan, in Italy in the uh, heart of the Monte Napoleone district, it's called Quadrilatero Milano. We have a special guest here today, uh, who is uh, Silvia Damiani, the president of Vinini. Vinini is the art of uh, Murano, an art of Italian expression, is Italian art glass from Venice. Welcome, Silvia. Thank you very much for having me here. It's really a pleasure. Thank you for hosting us to visit you and this beautiful showroom. Uh, so we would like to know of uh, the history of uh, Venini, uh, starting from Venini and where it was founded, why we call it Murano, and I believe so many millions of tourists visiting Venice every day, every year, so we would like to learn more about Venini. With pleasure. Uh, the company Venini was founded in uh, 1921 by Paolo Venini, and actually he was a lawyer a lawyer from Milan that fell in love with the art of glass in Murano and decided to establish his company there. What is very peculiar about Venini is that uh, since the beginning, uh, now we have uh, already 99 history of, uh, uh, of art, but you know, and we are getting ready to our uh, first uh, 100 year net next year, is that from the real beginning, uh, Paolo Venini wanted uh, uh, our glass factory to, uh, of course, uh, have all the in heritage of uh, the glass makers, so everything has to be done really uh, perfectly, but uh, with uh, something more. He wanted to add the design, art, uh, at the same time a lot of uh, um, particular style that makes Venini unique. Unique because um, uh, the aim of uh, Paolo Venini, which is still the same today because his heritage, his leg legacy uh, kept uh, during the years and this uh, um, is still the same. I can say that in uh, uh, nearly 99 years of history nothing changed from that point of view is that the legacy of uh, Paolo Venini was to make uh, the art of glass something unique, where the essence, where the synthesis, where the, um, the art is more less than too much. Mm. Uh, in, in the past, uh, when uh, Murano was founded, as you probably know, the history of Murano is that uh, it's a very little island one of the island of Venice, uh, where the masters of Venice, the Doge, decided uh, that all the factories of glass had to be. Uh, this, uh, already many centuries ago, for two reasons. One reason was that uh, it wanted to prevent fire, because mm. of course in the furnace you need to, yeah, to use the fire for melting uh, the glass. But at the same time to prevent the, the glass makers, the master glass, to escape from Venice and uh, give away the secret of the art of making glass in Venice, Murano. So, uh, till now, this uh, special uh, thing still exists. Uh, there is kind of uh, mystery, uh, kind of secrets, and um, especially Venini is very famous because there is no other company in Murano able to work with so many colors. Uh, our logo Venini is written with many colors because Venini is a synonym, synonym of colors. And uh, every color is studied in a very special way. And um, for instance, the red of Venini is unique. Nobody can make uh, the red like uh, we do. Yeah, so red like Valentino, I believe. Uh, in a different way, yes, yes, yes. Red. Let's say that uh, the Venini red in glass uh, 
is uh, what the red is uh, in the dresses for Valentino. Mm -hmm. I think it's a fantastic comparison. I, I, <laughs> thanks to you, it, it came to also to you my head. You know the red Valentino. <laughs> exactly, famous exactly. In the world yes. Of the fashion. So you are talking about the, uh, it's like a miracle, Italian industrial miracle. Uh, you, you, uh, this company was born in 1921, and we're still using this amazing design, which is still actually and still very. Uh, extremely contemporary design. Exactly. So tell us, um, what's your uh, collaboration with the, um, what, uh, how is your experience, uh, uh, you know, how do you work with these international talents? They are like playing with colors and uh, bringing the glass art uh, lighting. It's like uh, playing with the transparency, playing with colors and playing with the shapes and design and bringing emotion in, in and who are surrounded by this beauty of the art making. Gantuya, you said exactly how it is. Uh, all the artists uh, or architects or designers that work in the past and at present or in the future with Venini, uh, they really enjoy the privilege of working with uh, this very special material which is glass. At mm -hmm. the same time, uh, they like to work with color. We let them uh, uh, also, in a way, we let them be free to express uh, their technique and also at the same time to express uh, the beauty they have inside uh, their soul. Uh, we have been working of course from the beginning with uh, Carlo Scarpa, of course Tobias Scarpa, Ettore Sozzas, uh, Bianconi, um, I mean so many important artists. Uh, we have been uh, working with Gaia Olentis, uh, Gaetano Pesce, Ron Arad, uh, Tadao Ando, I mean Fuxas, uh, it's hard for me to, to mention all of them because uh, uh, luckily really um, a lot of uh, artists, uh, they really wanted to uh, also make a kind of challenge with themselves so that their creation could be possible through the art of glass. There is something peculiar about the art of glass, is the fact that uh, when you create Everything, when uh, it gets solid, it's a question of seconds. So everything has to be perfect, analyzed done before. Very quickly, wow. And then done very quickly. And then you are never sure 100% what the result would be. It is like um, the soul of God, because there is all these uh, special things which you cannot predict that, that makes things even better. I mean, like life. No. Life, we cannot really tell what is going to happen. We can plan what we are going to do, yeah. but the fact that life always surprises uh, makes everything even more challenging. So glass always surprises us. That's really amazing, especially when you are making these different colors, you know, the range of turquoise, blue, green, and all the shapes of the colors. It's totally amazing. So you are like uh, explaining the uh, art of playing with the glass and especially these artists, international talents. Uh, I read um, Tada Onda said that uh, he was bringing, um, the human uh, nature is uh, lacking from time to time all the colors, you know, in the warmth. And he's trying to express through the glass, which is a cold material, and bringing the warmth of the art and bringing us, introducing us again the, the emotions. It's really beautiful uh, what he said, and yeah. we really love and I think uh, you are doing great, um, great uh, gift for humanity, because Venice we cannot imagine without Carnival and Murana art. So I would like you guys all to uh, visit Venice, especially Murano and the uh, Venini factory. You're welcome. Welcome to come and to know more about uh, the art of glass, about Venini and about all the artists that uh, during the years have been expressing themselves uh, in our factory. Sometimes also learning at our factory. I don't know if you know that uh, Venini is uh, having a very huge collection in many museums in the world. Uh, such as the Metropolitan Museum in New York or like uh, the Centre Pompidou in uh, Paris and many, many others. And I think it's because the people really recognize uh, uh, the essence 
of uh, the work of the artists that uh, really wanted uh, to achieve something special working uh, with our uh, Master of Glass. That's beautiful. We would say that beauty will save the world, art will save the world, and we try to keep this beautiful heritage. Uh, I believe when we think of Venice, we think of Marco Polo, which came to Mongolian Empire, and there is, when we go to Venice, we still feel this amazing history of Doge and mix of cultures from Eastern countries, from Asia and from Middle East, and you see all these flowers and colors, and you're still keeping this tradition with colors and, and shapes. Like, uh, I, for example, I'm in love with Joe Ponte uh, chandelier, and also the Queen and King uh, vase, and yes. The napkin yes. It's like it's a um, fabric, you know. It's the, you are yeah. playing with yeah. the glass, yeah. doing a beautiful art. But you you said the right thing. I think Venice, especially, is exactly because of that. Because it is at the center of exchange of cultures, and uh, the best of creativity goes uh, through that through the fact that you exchange the beauty of the culture of the East and the beauty of the culture of the West. I think uh, that's why things are so special, so unique. That's beautiful. So let's go to Venice Hall and try to understand, learn the secrets of making colors and beautiful art from Benini. And one last question, Silvia. Yes. I was, you know, just when you were speaking, I was inspired. Uh, you are representing uh, also 100 century, 100 years old Damiani family. So, is there any um, collaboration? You are thinking of some special product using a, a heritage of jewelry making with uh, Murana art producing? Is there any some yeah, idea that my my family, as you can say, my my surname is Damiani, and uh, I come from uh, a family and a company which have uh, is a uh, Ruth and uh, is love in the precious stones uh, in the diamonds and uh, of course uh, also all my formation during the years has been in uh, precious uh, metals and uh, stones. Uh, what I think it's very similar and that's why uh, four years ago uh, my family and I decided uh, to purchase Venini is that there are a lot of similarity. Uh, first of all, also Damiani is nearly a hundred years old. In, uh, in 1924 also Damiani will be a hundred years old. And uh, when we talk about uh, Damiani, we talk about uh, um, also masters. We say maestro, which is master in Italian, maestro orafo. So uh, gold master and in the tradition of the glass there is the glass master or oil maestro del vetro. Mm -hmm. uh, what is very important is that uh, everything is uh, really a handcraft uh, where they manufacture the tradition, the love of uh, uh, precision and also the legacy is uh, so important. So for us it was natural uh, to decide uh, to extend uh, uh, our uh, company to something that was very uh, kind of similar to our tradition. We believe beauty is uh, something like for the jewelry that you wear that is very near to you and beauty is also very special in your house because it's what is around you, what uh, you know you can see every day. Uh, when you said beauty is gonna save the world, I think at least it's gonna make the world better because when you think about beauty, you think of positive thoughts, uh, you uh, are positive and especially in a moment like this one, I think uh, we need to believe that things are going to be better, that uh, also this mm -hmm. uh, um, pandemic situation is going to end sooner or later, and that we have to keep uh, strong and uh, being also very attached to what makes uh, humanity humanity. Mm -hmm. So with this um, note, I would like to thank you for hosting us. Thank you very and, much. Uh, uh, my heartfelt wish, uh, wish is that we would like to see uh, Winini is prospering, not uh, next year you're celebrating 100 years, uh, 1,000 years and you still keep this beautiful tradition ongoing and uh, making us smile and giving us happiness to whoever is a customer of Winini, whoever appreciates Murano and Italian heritage and art. Thank you very much, Gantui. I really believe in that because um, 
also in my family and in my company in Damiani, uh, my brothers and I, we represent the third generation. And I always think that um, we have to work to make uh, things last uh, in the century. I'm not working for myself or maybe for the next it's gen generation, but yeah, I'm thinking for more more generation to come uh, mm -hmm. because uh, certain values, uh, certain tradition uh, are uh, what uh, uh, will keep um, the world being special. So for me, the job I'm doing today, I really hope it's gonna be something, at least a, even a little stone that continue in the century. That's really empowering and I, I feel really a good energy and um, you know, let's think of uh, future with the centuries and the generations and thank you for being and hosting us. Thank you. It's really beautiful and I'm really touched my, 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 by, by my pleasure. and this beauty. Thank you. So thank you very much. much. Thank you.